Welcome to Marketing 10. This is a series of marketing videos in 10 minutes or less. Today, I'm gonna to be creating a Google Ads discovery campaign. Okay, now before we get started with building our campaign, I wanted to show a couple of examples of discovery ads and where they're gonna run. So your discovery ads can show up on the YouTube home feed as well as the YouTube watch next feed. And you can see some examples right here of advertisements on YouTube. They'll also show through Google Discover, which you can see an example right here from Google Discover. And then you're also gonna show in Gmail as well through the social tabs and the promotions tab. So you can see there is a Gmail ad here and when people click on that advertisement, it will open up a new email as well. So let's get started with building our campaign now that we know what our ads are gonna look like. In order to get started, we're gonna be on the campaign screen through our Google Ads account so once you're on the campaign screen, you want to click on the plus sign to create a new campaign. So first things first, you want to choose your campaign objective and you're going to get the best possible results out of discovery ads if you're choosing sales or leads so that you can optimize for your key performance indicators. Whether you're trying to drive purchases on your website, whether you're trying to get people to submit lead forms, you want to have your main key performance indicator as your conversion goal for this campaign to get the best possible results. So my main conversion goal is purchases. So I'm going to remove these other two goals here. And now that we have our main conversion goal ready, we're going to click on continue. Okay. So the next step is to choose a campaign type. And in this case, we're going to choose discovery here, run ads on YouTube, Gmail, discover, and more. And then the next two things are to put your landing page here and then we're going to name our campaign. So we're going to come over here to my landing page and what I'm doing is I'm running a promotion in April for 10% off all furniture. So we can come over here and copy our landing page and this is what we're going to be promoting is our April sale for 10% off furniture. So we're going to enter that as our landing page here and then what you want to do is name your campaign. So just give it a descriptive name so you know what campaign it is. So we could do April 2022, Google Discovery Ads Furniture Sale. Okay, so now we're ready to click on continue and continue building our campaign. Okay, so you're gonna see right here at the top, discovery campaigns perform best with one conversion goal. So that's what we have here. So once you have your conversion goal all set, we're ready to set our location and language targeting. In my case, I ship products to United States and Canada, so that's the two locations I'm gonna target. With language targeting, I'm gonna keep mine as English, but you can select another language here. You wanna select the languages your customers speak for your language targeting. So next, we're gonna come down here to bidding. So we wanna focus on conversions, and what we could do is just focus on conversions and use the maximize conversions bid. What I like to do is set a target cost per action, and usually they'll give you a recommended target CPA. So in this case, my suggested target CPA is $2.90. So we can click on apply, and now I'm using the target CPA bid strategy so that I can drive conversions on my website for $2.90 or less. So we're gonna come down here and set our daily budget. So I'm gonna set my budget at $30. So we have our target CPA at $2.90. Our average spend per day is $30. We can always increase our budget if we wanna spend more if we're seeing good results or decrease it if we're not seeing the results we want. So if I set my budget at $30 per day, I'm gonna spend about $900 over the course of a month. We have our budget set, we have our bidding strategy set. Next is gonna be more settings. So you don't really need to change anything for more settings unless you wanna set an ad schedule or start and end dates. Discovery ads will automatically exclude moderate to highly sensitive content, so you don't need to make any changes there, so we can click on next. Okay, so targeting. So we're going to be targeting audience segments here, and I would highly recommend creating custom segments if you haven't already. If you click here to add or create custom segments, you can click right here, plus new custom segment, and all you need to do is name your segment. I would choose people who search for any of these terms on Google and enter about 50 keywords that are highly relevant to your campaign. So in my case, I would enter keywords like farmhouse furniture, and then I can do specific types of furniture like farmhouse sofas, farmhouse coffee tables. So I've already created an audience like this. So all you wanna do is really just use a bunch of relevant keywords here, enter all of those Google search terms, and you're targeting people who are searching for those terms on Google. So you could take these directly from a search campaign if you already have one. So I'm gonna choose my custom segment here and you can see I have furniture search terms and that's who I'm gonna target. So that's all you need to target in this case, but what you can also do is incorporate your data. So I could say, okay, I wanna target people who have been to my furniture pages on my website 
and I have it over 540 days, but basically if anybody's visited my furniture pages, they probably at one point had interest in buying farmhouse furniture. So if I'm running a sale like this, hopefully they're looking for more furniture for their home. So I can add that as another audience here. You could do all visitors. You can also incorporate your similar segments here. So these are similar audiences based on some of our different remarketing audiences. So I actually have a similar two furniture audience as well down here. It's showing zero people, but it also says the size is 17K to 55K. So we'll target that audience as well. And then if we come down here, we have interest and detailed demographics. So if we come over here to browse, I would highly recommend choosing some in-market segments here. So if I come to in-market segments, you can see all of these are people actively looking to buy some of these different products. So you can come in here and find the best in-market audience based on what you're promoting. You can also just search for it directly. You can see I have home furnishings. So when I searched furniture, home furnishings came up and you can see it's people interested in purchasing home furniture. So we can choose that as our audience as well. Now I'm not gonna change anything as far as demographics. I'm gonna leave this wide open. And then I would highly recommend using optimized targeting because Google is gonna find people beyond your selected audience and they're also gonna to try to find people within your selected audience to drive more conversions for you. So there's no downside to using optimized targeting. And now we can click on next. Okay, so next we can build our discovery ad. So we start first with our final URL, so our landing page where we're sending traffic to. And then what we wanna do is add up to 20 images. I would highly recommend using as many images as possible and you can see there's three different ratios here so we have landscape images 1.9 one by one square images and portrait images so you can see the recommended sizes here for some of these different images but if you click on plus images you can come over here to upload and upload all of your images you can use stock images directly through google ads i already have a bunch of images uploaded through the asset library and what you're going to see is if i choose an image like this i can use it for three different ratios so one image can be used for landscape, square, and portrait. So I'm gonna select three ratios here and I'm gonna choose all of these different images for my campaign. Okay, so we have 20 assets selected. You can see with a bunch of these, we have three different ratios. Some of them we only have one, some of them we have two. So we have all of our images here and we're ready to click on save and move on to the next step. So the next step is to add logos. So the logo size is a square logo with a recommended 1200 by 1200. So if I click on plus logos, I already have my square logo here. This is 500 by 500. So I'm gonna select this one here and click on save. And now what we need to do is enter our ad copy. So we have five headlines here. So you can see every single headline is 40 characters. So we're gonna add all five headlines. We have five description lines here. Every description line is 90 characters. So we're gonna add all five description lines. We're gonna enter our business name here. So we'll do farmhouse goals. Our call to action text in my case is going to be shop now. And I'm gonna come back up here and add all of my headlines and all of my description lines here. You wanna use all of them because Google ads will create the best ad combinations to basically drive conversions for your business. So I'm gonna enter my ad copy now. Okay, so we fast forward a little bit and we have our five headlines here and you're gonna see there's a bunch of different discovery ad examples over here on the right hand side. So you can see what your ad is going to look like in some of these different feeds. So we have our five headlines here. We have our five description lines here. We entered our business name. We entered our call to action text so we can click on create ad. And then we have our first advertisement. So you can repeat this process and use different images and different ad copy. You could duplicate this ad and enter a different final URL to test some different landing pages. I'm just gonna do one ad for the sake of this example, but there's no downside to creating more advertisements. It's actually a best practice to, I would duplicate this, use a different landing page. I would create a new ad with some different assets and some different ad copy. So we can choose a few different ads here and then click on next. And now we have everything set here. They're recommending a higher budget. We're just gonna keep our budget as is. It's really no issue with having a lower budget than they recommend. So we have everything ready. We click on publish campaign and that's all you need to do. And then what you can do is update your targeting, go to different audiences. You can create a new ad group and use different audiences in the other ad group. I would highly recommend creating more advertisements, but that's all you need to do to create a discovery ads campaign. And then you just need to monitor your performance and improve your campaign over time. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.